Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Venue 3S and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the Garmin Connect application and also you will need to allow some permissions for the notifications to work. So once the watch is paired with your phone, we can continue and now let's check the permissions. So find the Gar Garmin Connect icon on your phone. Once you find it, press and hold on it and then tap on App Info. Here tap on Permissions and sh you should see the list of permissions and we have allowed list and not allowed list. And if you want to uh, want the notifications to work uh, fully, you need to allow a couple permissions. You need to allow contacts, SMS, phone, call logs and calendar. As you can see, we have the SMS, phone, call logs, calendar allowed already, but the contacts are not allowed. So to allow the uh, permission, tap on it, then tap on allow and it's going to be moved to the allowed list right here. And once you're done with uh, the permissions, you can close in this window. Now you can open the uh, settings on your phone. Uh, Where's the settings icon? Right here. In settings, you need to find the notification access. On this phone, it's located in notifications and then notification access. On different Android phones, it might be a little bit uh, hidden. Basically, it's not e as easy to find. You can use the search function always. Type in notification, uh, notification access, and it should detect it. And um, also on the Android 12, I believe it's called uh, notifications and devices or something like that. So basically, you need to look for it. But once you find notification access, it looks like this: you have uh, allowed list and not allowed list. And you need to make sure that the Garmin Connect application is on the allowed list. If it's not, you can tap on it and tap on the switch right here to allow the notification access, then tap on allow when the pop-up comes on the screen. And once the Garmin Connect application is on the allowed list, you can close the settings and open the Garmin Connect application now. And now we can customize the uh, notification settings. So. Uh, once the app opens, tap on more, uh, scroll down, tap on Garmin devices. Then select your venue 3S from the list of devices. And here, uh, scroll down, find the option called notifications and alerts. Uh, for some reason, oh, my Bluetooth is turned off. No, it is turned on, so it should be connected. Weird. Let's try again. Okay, now it's working. That was weird. Anyway, uh, tap on the notifications and alerts, smart notifications. And here you have settings for our notifications. And we have general use during activity and during sleep. General use is when you're using your watch normally, when basically you're using your, wa your watch as a watch. During activity is when you're uh, tracking a workout or activity on your watch, like running, cycling and stuff like that. And during sleep is when you're sleeping. First, let's tap on during use, general use. Here we can turn off the notifications or turn them on as the whole thing. We can tap on the specific type of notifications and we can turn them off or on. We can turn on or off the sound. We can also turn on or on the, or off rather, the vibration for the specific type of the notifications. And we have calls, texts and apps. So you can customize it to your liking. Once you're done with the general use, tap on during activity and do the same for the uh, during activity. Okay. And then we have the during sleep and here you can turn on or off the do not disturb mode option if you want to. And the privacy option, here you can select action or gesture or off. I believe it's uh, when you receive the notification on your watch, it won't display the content of the, of the notification un until you press the action button or perform the gesture if you want to read it. Okay, and once you're done customizing the settings for your notifications, you should be able to receive them on your watch. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see we got it on our phone and also on our watch. If you miss the notifications on your watch, you can always go to home screen, break up the screen and swipe up or down on the home screen to open the list of glances and here scroll through the glances, you will find the notifications and you can tap on it to check the notifications. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.